Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be looking to see what is inside the Nintendo Switch dock. So the dock is the thing that you place the Switch into to then allow you to watch it and play it on the actual TV rather than using the screen on the Switch itself. Now the reason I want to look inside here is because I have connected up a little USB-C adapter and the reason for this is because I thought I could have the docking station on my main TV downstairs and then rather than buying another dock because they charge about £80 for this in the UK I thought I could just get one of these adapters that are only about £12 or £13 and then I would be able to run the power into it, the HDMI out and also a USB Ethernet adapter exactly the same as here because we've got three connectors here so we've got the HDMI at the bottom, we've got the USB 3 connector there and we've got a little USB-C connector there for power. Now with the dock it will only work when you have the HDMI and the power connected. If you don't have the power connected to this the screen will remain on the actual switch itself. It's only when you have power and HDMI connected in here that it will then start working on the TV. Unfortunately this doesn't work. So it works for power so you can charge it. So if you have a look here you can see that it is actually charging up and you can see that squiggle there means it's connected to Ethernet as well rather than Wi-Fi so it works for them but it doesn't work for the picture out so in here I thought it was just a standard USB-C connector because if you have a look here I mean it is the shape of a USB-C connector this is just a little protective cover here and when you put the switch down onto it the weight of the switch pushes down and then it allows it to be fully inserted into that little USB-C connector there. But however they've wired it up, they must have wired it up slightly differently because I cannot get any picture through here at all. So every time I plug this in, this should go blank and then it should start working on the TV because this is mimicking the dock, but it's not working that way. So I'm wondering if they've somehow, maybe if they've crossed the pins or something in the HDMI connector so it's not standard. Right, so I just had to undo some tri-wing little screws, tiny little screws, like here, it's got a little tri-wing on it. From here, 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 here and here, and this section now just slides out. And as you can see, all it actually is, is the circuit board here with a little ribbon going down to the USB C connector down there and then there's also a couple of little wires that just feed the LED here that lights when you dock the switch into it. So first of all let's just have a, a quick scan over it and I'll get the torch on it and you can see the the markings on the chips Okay, and let's just pop that out. Like that. So now you can see the ribbon there go into the USB C connector and these two little wires providing power to the LED. Okay, so at the side there we've got a couple of USB ports. They look like they're just USB 2, they're not blue in colour. This one here is a USB 3. USB and HDMI down the bottom. Okay, so that's it. So a little bit disappointing because I really thought that it would be nice and easy because the dock is about £80 and you get these for about between £10 and £20. So I thought it would be just a nice easy way of being able to dock it to another TV in the house. But as you can see, there's nothing happening there. It just says no signal available. And it doesn't matter whether I turn it around the other way. If I turn it around the other way, it still makes no difference. There's still no signal available. So whatever it is, the way they've wired it is not a standard USB-C connector. I'm thinking that they have 
altered the wires maybe on purpose to stop this happening because obviously if they're selling something which is predominantly a lump of plastic with a circuit board in the corner for 80 pounds then there's going to be quite a bit of a markup on so maybe it's been done on purpose maybe there's another reason i'm not i'm not sure yet right okay so i hope you enjoyed the video at least it saved you a little bit of money it's unfortunate that it doesn't work but at least now you know not to go out and buy it like i did because uh, it's not going to work so please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.